What is an absolute contraindication for breastfeeding? Galactosemia. So galactosemia is due to a galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase deficiency. It is a severe autosomal recessive condition that occurs due to the body's inability to metabolize galactose, which is a simple sugar found in dairy products. So these symptoms can be very severe, presenting with jaundice, hepatomegaly, nausea, vomiting, failure to thrive, um, even intellectual disability. So an important complication of galactosemia is the development of E. coli sepsis. What is the mechanism of action of the drug used to treat Epsilon seizures? T-type calcium channel blocker. So, of course, this is the mechanism of action of ethosuximide. Patients who experience absent seizures usually do not have a post-ictal state. However, you might see them smacking their lips or fluttering their eyes during the absent seizure. So, it's very high yield to know that these seizures can be provoked by hyperventilation and they are also diagnosed with EEG, which shows a 3 hertz spike in slow waves. What vaccine should be avoided in patients with IgA nephropathy and henoch shonline purpura? rotavirus. So patients with IgA and HSP have an increased susceptibility to developing intussusception, which is a contraindication for the administration of the rotavirus. Be sure to look out an extremely high yield video comparing these two conditions. What can cause seizures in neonates born to diabetic mothers? Hypocalcemia or hypoglycemia? What is the best next step in an infant with asymmetrical thigh folds? an ultrasound of the hips. So the asymmetric thigh folds described in this question can be seen in developmental dysplasia of the hip. In these patients, you can feel a clung on the ortholonis test. It's preferred to do an ultrasound rather than an x-ray because of the safety profile of an ultrasound. Also, these patients can be treated with a pelvic harness. We have to treat them to prevent limb length discrepancies as they get older. What vitamin supplementation do exclusively breastfed infants need? vitamin D. So breastfed infants require supplementation with vitamin D until solid foods are introduced into the diet at around age six months. What other conditions can be associated with a patient with a coloboma and a heart defect?
Well, this question requires us to know about charge. So what does that stand for? C, coloboma. H, heart defects. A, atresia of the coanae. Retardation, GU anomalies, and ear anomalies. What other disorders can be seen in a patient with renal defects, anal atresia, and limb defects? And this requires us to know about the bacterial associations. So let's look at what this stands for. V, vertebral defects, A, anal atresia, C, cardiac defects, T, E, T, E, fistula, R, renal defects, and L, limb defects. And finally, let's look at the Wager or Wager conditions. That is W, Wilms tumor, A, aniridia, G, genitourinary anomalies, and R, renal anomalies. So as you can see, we just went through different associations back to back, talking about charge, factorial, and wager or wager. These are extremely high yield for your shelf and for your board exams. They are guaranteed to appear in some way, shape, or form. So if you don't have it done packed yet, you can pause the video here, go back and keep on quizzing yourself until you know them well. What condition should a physician be aware of before intubating a patient with Down syndrome? Atlantal axial instability. What diseases have a rash on the palms and soles? Coxsackie A, rickettsia, syphilis, and toxic shock syndrome plus Kawasaki. So we can remember this with the mnemonic CARS. And as you can see, those letters are in purple. If you have any other mnemonics to remember diseases with rashes on the palms and soles, be sure to leave them in the comments down below so we can help the powerhouse community. What is the best next step in a patient who is in anaphylactic shock that is unresponsive to their first dose of epinephrine. Give another dose of epinephrine. What is the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia in children with cystic fibrosis? So if you've done step one, you know that cystic fibrosis is highly, highly tested in so many different ways. And this is one high yield association that can pop up on your step two exam. So remember that Pseudomonas is the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia in adults with cystic fibrosis and that is usually treated with ciprofloxacin. However, for children with cystic fibrosis, the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia is staph aureus, and that is treated with vancomycin. What x-ray finding can be seen in DeGeorge syndrome? An absent thymus. 
What is the antidote for acetaminophen poisoning? N-acetylcysteine. So anything relating to poisonings or accidental overdose of something is extremely high yield in pediatrics. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make a video addressing common food poisoning and how to manage it or common drug overdoses too. What is the most common cause of conductive hearing loss? Repeated ear infections. What is the major protein found in breast milk? Whey. So the major protein source is whey, which is more easily digested than casein and helps to improve gastric emptying. So that's one of the many benefits of breast milk. What acid-base disturbance is seen in salicylate poisoning? Metabolic acidosis with respiratory compensation. So almost any disorder that causes a possible acid-base disturbance is a very high yield on exams. What is the most common cause of urinary tract obstruction in newborn boys? Posterior urethral valves. What condition causes acute scrotal pain and a negative Prenn sign? Testicular torsion. Be sure to check out this video right here to see a high yield comparison between testicular torsion, epididymitis, hydrocele's, varicocele's, which all appear on your pediatrics exam and on step two as well. What condition can cause recurrent bacterial infections in an eight month old? Brutens a gammaglobulinemia. So remember, B for bacterial, as in B cells help to treat or get rid of bacterial infections, while T cells help to fight or treat viral or fungal infections. So that's why this patient with recurrent bacterial infections most likely has Brutens. And that brings us to the end of part one of a high yield pediatrics review. If you liked this video, be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And to continue learning, click this video right here. Thank you for watching.